Hello everybody and welcome back to EU4. Today we're going to be playing as the nation of Navarra. I had you guys vote on which nation you'd like to see for mission tree only and you guys chose Navarra. However, when looking at their mission tree, not as extensive. So it is a smaller mission tree. So we're going to make, turn this into an underrated nations video. And we're going to go for Basque and Glory achievement. So what makes Navarra so unique? Well, Navarra... They get a Restoration of Union CB on France when you conquer Southern France. Uh, you get permanent claims over the entirety of the Iberian region. Your ruler, John II, the Trestamara, is also the heir of Aragon. So if Alphonse dies and he survives, you actually get a Restoration of Union CB for the next 25 years on Aragon. Also, Navarra gets some really solid ideas. They actually received a buff recently, I want to say in 1.35. Um, originally their ideas were kind of naval focused. Now Navarra finds themselves actually having a pretty nice balanced idea set with uh, the most important one in their traditions with Diplo Reputation plus one. Uh, they also get morale damage plus 10%. Naval, lead, naval leader fire. Once you finish their ideas, uh, they get morale navy, ship durability, naval force, some at 33%. Discipline yearly inflation reduction along with an administrative free policy National sailors modifier marines force them at tech costs and culture conversion costs and development costs and primary cultures minus 15 percent before we get into this video i just want to encourage you guys to go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new here and if you're already subscribed to my channel and want to support the channel even more i also have memberships that are available now, without further ado, let's get into it as Navarra. All right, here we are as Navarra. Uh, we got our 4K troops. Should mention as Navarra, they actually get a unique government type as a 1.35 called the Courts of Navarra. It gives you minus two unrest, an additional diplomat, uh, cost of it, uh, cheaper advisors if they're Basque culture, and it also gives you a parliament. So we actually have a parliament to work with here. As for our estates here, we're going to have to rely heavily on our clergy with religious diplomats. This is going to be the most important one by far. Now, in terms of allies, we could potentially ally Castile, who surprisingly is not domineering towards us right now. Uh, Aragon, they are. But I'm going to try and get France right at the start here. Uh, France, I tend to find, would be a little bit of a better ally. This is like my sixth attempt doing this now because my previous couple times I've done it a few different ways, but uh, this time I'm sure we're going to be good. And we can Royal Mary France, so we're almost there to actually allying these guys. Uh, Aragon is domineering towards me right now. I'm actually almost tempted to ally Aragon right now and ally both, yeah, ally both France and Aragon to beat up on Castile, who's the stronger one out of these two. You know what, I think that's what we're going to do. We are going to uh, ally Aragon here. In a court, and of course it helps that uh, France here is not rival to Aragon either. Uh, we will also scornfully insult Castile. And that puts us so close to allying France here. And we can. Yes. Alright. Um, so what we need to do next... Is begin fabricating a claim here on Castile. All right, we're going to curry favors with France and England's in their classic, uh, you know, surrender a main war here, which we will accept, of course. And we're going to try and occupy the province of Labourd. Maybe we can, maybe France will be nice and give it to us. We'll see. Also, uh, Alphonse did die. Uh, we're going to take this here, which does give us a Resto uh, Union CB on Aragon for the next 25 years. And we did get our own Enrique 133, not too bad. And Aragon wants to break their alliance with us, honestly. Oh, they are like Cast Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Man, Castile's getting all the... They got literally everybody in Iberia to be their friend here. And they also got Austria. That's horrible. And our army's about to get sick. Wait, thank you, England. That is exactly what I want to see right now. Okay, France now owes us 26 favors. All right, tier two government reform. We're going to go with strength and noble privileges for the additional manpower. We need as much manpower as we could possibly get for this. And as I mentioned earlier, we are going for the Basking Glory achievement, which requires us to own at least 32 provinces that are Basque culture. Uh, and we have to do this before the age of absolutism, so... 
We got until pretty much 1600. Okay, and we're going to be doing our very first war here against Aragon. We're going to call on France, Portugal, and Naples. We're going to promise France land. Uh, if we can give them land, they just want the uh, islands over here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this war. And hopefully we can conquer most of Aragon. I think Portugal wants some of... Okay, they just want the islands also. Naples, of course, just wants their islands back. Everybody wants islands from Aragon. I want their mainlands. Let's go ahead. We're going to do a conquest war, not the restoration of C, not the restoration of Union CB, because there's going to be no way I'm going to be able to maintain that uh, Union over Aragon as an OPM. And Burgundy went under France. Oh man, we, we have a super France. All right, uh, let's get Savoy out of this war. We're just going to have him give us war reps and a little bit of money, even though we're not really going to see much of that money. All right, for our first idea group here, I'm thinking we are going to be taking espionage ideas, which sounds a little bit strange. I'm going to do this for the AE impact. Um, also, the transfer subject peace treaty in case Castile does get Aragon here. Also, the monthly favor growth modifier and all the siege stuff. So we're going to go with this first, especially because of the favors. And I mean, Castile does have Isabel as, as the queen here. So, so uh high chance that uh, the Iberian U Union fires after this war. So we are just going to take all this land for ourselves. I did promise France land. However, I had full, like 40 favors with them. So I boosted up my trust with them. And so we're just going to take all this land for ourselves. And it's just going to tick off pretty much everybody in Iberia. A couple of Italian guys, but it should be fine. We can also take this mission, which now gives us permanent claims on all of Iberia. And speaking of missions, as I mentioned earlier, Navarra does have a little bit of a mission tree. It's not a fully fleshed out mission tree, hence why we're not going to be doing this as a mission tree only game. But we do get certain things like taking over, let's say, Vizcaya from Castile. We actually get a core on the board, uh, which as long as we stay allied to France, we can actually have them return that core to us. And then once we conquer... Uh, pretty much this state in France, we get a restoration of Union CB on France, which, I mean, if we're lucky enough, and we can actually get that Union over France, that, uh, that would be really, really nice, especially the type of game that they're having right now. But once we do this, then it takes us towards uh, colonization and all that stuff, and we also get permanent claims on the Munster area here in Ireland, because we have to basically uh, focus on getting our trade up in the North Sea. Um, we also get uh, colonization stuff in Canada, in Argentina, and I believe also the Caribbean. Point is, we get a ton of coloniz we get some really good colonization bonuses as the game progresses. And there it is. There's the Iberian wedding. I knew that was going to happen. And I really wish that uh, we could beat up Castile right now because they only have seven K troops, uh, but they're allied to Austria, who does have hungry as of right now but uh if the ruler were to die you know they're no longer the emperor so that definitely makes things easier and if you're wondering right now if we are going to be forming spain we will not be forming spain this game point is in underrated nations stay as a country of our focus as long as possible unless it's to form a unique formable as seen as our in our hesse in a westphalia video for a tier 3 government form, neither of these are going to help us out with decentralized nor centralized because we're going to be uh, culture converting a ton of stuff. So instead we're going to go with expand a royal court for an additional advisor and reform progress growth. Okay, and we can get France, Portugal, and Naples all to help us out against Castile and Austria. Now, Castile just got military tech 4. They were at military tech 3 just about a month ago. So uh, we do have an advantage in the tech department and also numerically uh, as we fight against Austria. So let's go ahead and do this for uh, Castello. <laughs> Aragon's actually declaring an independence war against Castile, which means we are just fighting Aragon and Austria. Uh, so <laughs> they actually pieced us out with Castile. It gave us a white piece. That's kind of funny. This actually works out better for me. Uh, just because I'm going to be able to take all their Iberian stuff and basically assume the place of Aragon. Oh, and the Ottomans, I guess, too, because Ottomans are allied to uh, Aragon. And the Ottomans are in three wars. They're fighting the Mamluks also. 
just looking at the Ottoman Diplo map mode, this is kind of rough for them actually because they're out of manpower. They're fighting the Mamluks, they're fighting us. Alright, for Austria, we're going to make them break their alliance with Castile, have them pay us war reparations, and they're going to give us all their money. And France landed here, which is nice, but they're now occupying these provinces for themselves. Also, let's get Ottomans out of here, and we will make some peace here. I'm thinking we're going to do something like this. Uh, make them release out of Mallorca. And have them pay us war reps and as much money as possible. Which is perfect timing because our truce with Castile is actually about to be up in a, any moment now. There can only be one yellow nation in, in Iberia and that's going to be me, Castile. Alright, let's do our war against Castile now. But it should have been done before. Uh, we're going to call on France and this should be an easy steamroll. And lovely. Just lovely, Eric <laughs> took a couple provinces, so we're going to have to fight them and the Ottomans again at some point. Uh, which, I mean, their mainland stuff's here in Sicily now. I'm thinking we're going to do something like this from Castile. Uh, kind of give them a hug box. We will also rival Aragon since they rivaled us. Might as well rival them back. Oh, and Granada's actually attacking Aragon because guess what? The Ottomans dropped them. <laughs> nice. Alright. And we can also complete this mission, reclaim the coast, which does give us a core on the board. Uh, so we could probably ask France for that at any given point. I'm assuming oh, it's probably going to be something like 40 favors, 30 favors. And then we could get that from France. However, in the meantime, we build five transport ships. And then this guy over here has a marketplace. Uh, we could complete this mission here, which gives us more tax and gives us permanent claims on the Munster area owned by England, which I already know France is definitely going to help us out against England. And currently we own 24 provinces, so uh, we technically only need 8 more provinces in Iberia and we could, you know, complete that achievement. So honestly, we got to start culture converting a lot of this stuff. So might as well start getting a head start on this right now. Alright, and we will be going on a conquest of Granada here before, uh, before they ally the Ottomans. I could get France to help me out, so yeah. I uh, gotta make sure I do that before things get worse with them. Let's end this war. So uh, Portugal did occupy this province, so I'm just going to give that back to Castile. And I'm just going to go ahead full annex Granada and take all their money. Alright, let's start a war against Mallorca. Uh, Steel would not join this war, so it should be a quick, easy uh, war here. As long as my navy doesn't, as long as my navy doesn't suck. And France wants us to put their air on our on our uh, throne. I'm okay with this actually. Uh, I mean, for one, it keeps us from getting out of a PU for two it gives us the Valwa dynasty so m maybe just maybe we might get an opportunity to PU France naturally though uh, I really don't like his stats also uh, Steel's getting absolutely destroyed against uh, Aragon and Milan here I'm assuming Aragon's probably gonna take land from Castile I don't see why they wouldn't all right let's go ahead full annex these islands down here Call it a day. And good thing I put the French heir on our throne because otherwise, uh, you know, our ruler just died here. So it would have been horrible. All right. And Eric Hunt did take one singular province from Castile. Oh, actually, they took this whole area. I didn't even notice that. And like one island over here. Our truce with Castile is about to be over. Austria probably, eh, they may or may not join. We'll see. I mean, in the meantime, what I could do is just simply have uh, Naples and France do this war against Aragon for me. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. Meanwhile, and then I'll attack uh, Castile by myself. All right, truce with Castile is over. Uh, let's go ahead and do this war. We'll just do it for, I don't know, uh, this province right here. Okay, and we've completely encircled Castile now. They're almost completely gone. 
And what I will do is call my friend Portugal into this Milan Aragon War. This is, it's becoming a pain just because of Milan. They actually pieced out my friend Naples. We had an event where we can actually declare a new heir, a newborn daughter. She's actually really good. She's a 356. So we're going to do that. That's going to save our throne from being inherited by France. All right. As for Milan here, I, just, I want your money. We'll just do that. As for Aragon, we are going to take all these Iberian provinces. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, I will just take these three just to do it. And uh, we'll make them return. We'll make them return uh, Cosenza over here back to the Well, France has actually just want France just wants to give us our core of Laborde back for 100 ducats, so we're gonna do that. It's actually really nice of them. And now we get permanent claims on all of southern provinces of their country. Nice, thank you, France. Also, I'm thinking we are just gonna drop espionage here. We're gonna go for exploration ideas. Um, so then that way we can actually start getting into the colonization aspect of our stuff of our uh, mission tree and I will focus Diplo for the remainder of this game uh, so we can culture convert stuff and also do our exploration ideas for our tier 5 government reform we're gonna take the Tercio companies this is this is a unique Iberian one uh, where we get yearly army tradition professionalism and we also get Tercio infantry which take less shock damage all right, and we are going to be taking quality ideas. Originally, I was saying quantity, but uh, I didn't expect this to expand this fast into Iberia, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take quality ideas. It synergizes very well with our current I with Navarran ideas, and uh, it'll improve both our army and our navy. Ooh, we get the, one of the Borgia kids. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to finish off this deal. Hey, thank you for playing the game, Castile, but uh, it's time for you to go. And like that, we have full annex Castile. So now, oh, by the way, our ally Naples has formed two Sicilies. But we have full annex Castile, meaning that we have taken out the other Tristamara countries as Aragon and Castile no longer exists in the game. This is going a lot better than all my other previous runs and it's so it's it's so worth it right now it, it, this makes me happy this brings me joy so all it comes down to now is actually culture converting these provinces uh to bosque and then we're gonna start focusing on our mission tree hero such as conquering some of munster and getting 10 percent trade power in this node up here okay and we've officially gotten the bosque and glory achievement Starting as Navarra, ensure that most Iberia is boss culture before the age of absolutism. We look at culture map modes. Oops, probably better to see. As you can see, the majority of of Iberia is boss culture. And guess what? We are still culture converting some stuff. Because might as well, you know, culture convert it all. Since uh, we've got to finish what we started. So now... We're on to just completing up these missions pretty much. So we got to deal with France, uh, get trade power up here and start colonizing some stuff. All right. And I had to build 40 light ships just to get uh 12% trade power here in the North sea. We could now complete this mission, giving us colonial range and explore. And we get claims on uh, certain areas that I don't see. Oh, over here. We get a claim on this province here. All right. I'm going to be a little bit dumb here, but uh, we're going to attack France. Because I figure, you know, regardless if we're able to do this or not, that's kind of... France is kind of the end game regardless here. So um, we're going to do our conquest. Hopefully we're going to get our restoration of Union CB out of this war. Just have to take four provinces. That's all we need. So we're going to call on Austria and hope for the best. Oh man, that's going to be bad. I already know it. But we're going to fight kind of defensively here in these mountains. Okay. With this fort, we're going to try and relieve the siege on our capital. We 
which we do. Alright. Hopefully win another battle. This one's in the woods. Another good defensive battle. We just embarrassed just by bombarding the fort one. Uh, maybe we could get Switzerland out of the war. They're the ones that are really, really beating down on Austria. Alright. Uh, two Sicilies was forced out of this war. However, we can actually take what we want now. So we're going to do this. Some money. And we could complete this mission. And next time we could actually invade France for the Restoration of Union to be on them. Uh, but we're going to wait. Okay, and all of Spain is now Basque. Uh, you know, only part of Iberia that's still left to be Basque would be Portugal, but I have no interest in making Portugal Basque. Alright, here we go. Restoration Union CB on France. Let's take Paris, boys. Alright, we took Paris. We're gonna bum rush uh, Switzerland. Uh, try and get them out. Uh, ooh, I can call on two Sicilies. That, that's a huge help. 100,000 French troops are just hunting down two Sicilies. Oh no. Be better over there than over here, I guess. All I'm doing right now is I'm just sieging down France. Uh, there's that stack that's just roaming around beating up on my allies right now, but it's making them lose a ton of manpower. Alright. We could do the Restoration Union over France. We've now unified our crown with the French crown. Now we get a bunch of Monarch points as a reward. And for, of course France. You know, what we are going to do is attack England also because we do have France now. And France actually has a pretty sizable navy. So yeah, let's actually attack them for one of their European provinces because I think that's more realistic to get than one of their uh, overseas ones. Alright, let's go straight for London. Take the capital. See if we can't push out a little bit. Uh, oh, it's so close. This is so freaking close. No, I think we're gonna lose. Yeah, we lost that battle. Oh no. Um, lose. I just want stuff over here. That's all I want. What do I need? I need this city. And then I need to own all this stuff. Oh, Alright, so we could take everything that we need. Alright, good, 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 good. Oh, man. We could complete this mission, Terra Nova. The capital is renamed to Terra Nova. And now we just have to be the strongest trade power over here. And we are officially the strongest trade power in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. In that we are done with this campaign. I know the other mission is to, you know, conquer Portugal and all that stuff, but I think we have done more than enough at this point. So that is where I'm going to leave it off for today. We got the Basking Glory achievement. Pretty much completed the entire mission tree. So it's you know both in a pretty much a wombo combo of underrated nations and mission tree only except for the fact that you know it's we did more than just take stuff out of the mission tree and all that and because we have France we are the number four great power in the world and this is one last look over here at Europe over in the new world if you guys really enjoyed this video I just want to encourage you guys to go ahead hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other EU4 content, be it Unarrayed Nations, Mission Tree Only, or anything else in between. And again, if you're already subscribed to my channel and would like to support the channel even more, then I do encourage you guys to go ahead and become a member for my channel. 
And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Chairman out. Thank you.